Hello everybody, this is part 5 of modeling a conceptual faucet. Okay, what I have uh, did before this recording was um, to reduce the amount of uh, control points using the remove nodes okay? command. So I want to just do a demo now just to show you the process but I'm not going to do the entirety of of it okay just for the sake of showing the process okay so what I can do is I click on the remove nodes and you can click the toggle to change the orientation to the desired one so let's say I want to remove this you can click on this click on this okay to remove the, the nodes okay yeah so yeah so that's that's what I did before before the recording okay okay now uh, Let's hide the curves that we do not uh, need anymore. I still need this and this and this. Okay, the rest I do not need anymore. Okay, so um, let's uh, focus on on this this area. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is um. To build this this uh, surface over here okay let, let me explain what, what what i'm going to do next okay as you can see the points are converging over here and this area will not give a good blending result so what we need to do is to trim off the entirety of uh, this edge okay and we're going to do the same for the bottom one so what i'm going to do is to use the circle around curve method okay I think um, we need only to build one half okay and mirror the good one onto the other side so I'm going to cut this using the trim And then um, maybe I'll just duplicate this this curve again. Okay, and then we can use the uh, rebuild non uniform to reduce the amount of uh, control points. Okay, now I'm going to put a circle here using the circle around curve. Okay, so let's set the radius to 1, okay? And let's uh, do the sweep 1 rail. I need to extend this in order to be able to execute a good cut, okay? And do the same for here as well. Okay, let's uh, remove the this region by using the the split okay. okay now I don't need this press delete and now I can remove away this region okay and we need to do the same for the bottom part so using circle around curve the curve yeah okay and then use the sweep sweep one reel extend again Split, okay, object to split, cutting object, okay, delete this, and remove away this region, okay, great. Okay, now, um, 
I want to create this surface over here and I would like to use the the blend surface command okay but I'll need to have some kind of a guide to be able to to, to guide the control point so um, what I'm going to do is I will use um, the adjustable blend curve as guide first okay so let me just adjust this again this is too sharp okay and we'll do the same for here okay make sure they are set to curvature okay now we can do our uh, blend surface okay so blend surface select the first edge second edge okay and you can see over here that this part is not like uh, what what we want so what you can do is uh, press and hold the alt key click on the, the control point to snap, snap it to the apparent intersection so press and hold the alt key okay yep so we got something like that okay and might want to to be adjustment over here for it to for to align better with this profile okay yeah okay okay i think i want to add some shape to control this uh profile better click okay okay so we have got our uh, our surface okay okay seems quite okay okay there's a little bit of undulation over here so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use the remove notch method to smoothen this portion okay so we can use the remove nodes okay and maybe let's move off this portion here okay yeah it's smoother now okay Let's mirror this to the other side. Okay. Okay, it's better now, but uh, I think to be safe, let's um. is pretty good okay if if it's not good enough you might want to uh, do your own ma manual matching set the to average and tangent so that this part is smooth okay so yeah so I, I've done done this and let's uh, show all the rest okay and proceed to trim off the other regions okay like over here I need to execute some kind of trim okay so um these are the construction curves that I created so let's uh, extrude this Okay, so let's uh, do some trick. Let me hide all the other curves now.
Okay, let's do a trim. Select cutting object is this, this, and this. Object to trim is uh, this, this. Okay, now let's uh, do another trim. Now the cutting object is this. Okay, great. So let's repeat the process. Okay, great. Okay, there's a there's a missing surface here, so I'm going to fill it up using the uh, surface from planner curves. Okay, great. So, um, I'm almost done. Except for this portion here, we have a detail. So, I'm going to create the, the detail out. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I will create a circle and scale it down. So pressing and holding the shift key, I'm going to scale it down to maybe point, point 0.86, enter, yep, okay. And then I will extrude this, okay. So uh, let's change this to align to object to do an extrusion. So click on the, the extrusion dot and Let's extrude 2mm, okay? Yeah, okay, so we got this, okay? And then, let's trim off this, this interior region. Cover up this part. Okay, I'm going to join the surfaces. Check for volume. Great, there's a volume here. Let's check for this. Great, they all have volume. Okay. So um let's check the surface quality. I've come to the end of uh, this uh, series of demo. Hope that it has been useful to you. See you around. Bye.